Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. So, what is it? My name is Siri. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Thai style Hainanese dipping sauce or Nam Jim Khao Man Gai. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna prepare the herb first. I start with the ginger. I will remove all the uh, ginger skin. I'm using the spoon. Cut like easy and also um, they remove it very good, just the skin. Okay, it's just gonna take you just uh, 30 seconds to remove all the ginger skin. Actually, it take me more than 30 seconds to remove all the ginger skin, but it's not more than one minute because it's a little bit big. Okay, and I would like to recommend you if you go to the Asian grocery store, find one of the spoon like this. They good to remove the seed. They good to like a lot of work for this spoon. I recommend you. Okay, so first I finish with the ginger. I'm gonna chop the ginger up a little bit too easy to blend. For the ginger, you will need like three tablespoons. Okay, three spoons for the ginger already in the blender. Next, I'm gonna move on to our garlic. I use six cook the garlic. I will peel up the garlic skin. Okay, the garlic skin, I done peeling the garlic skin and now I'm gonna just cut them up a little bit so easy for them to bend. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, put all this garlic into the blender. Okay, six cook garlic going. Next, cilantro stem. I will use five tablespoons cilantro stem, and now we're gonna chop them up a little bit. Okay, now five tablespoons cilantro stem is done. Of course, in Thailand we use the cilantro roots, but it's hard to find over here, so I only use the cilantro stem. They keep a good flavor also. Okay, all inside the blender, and next I'm gonna go with the Thai chili. I will use the three Thai chili. Okay, for the Thai chili, I will use three. Um, for this sauce, um, not supposed to be too spicy from the Thai chili. If the heat, it will come from the ginger. So I'm just gonna cut half for the Thai chili. Okay, they're all gonna go in with all another herb. Next, I'm gonna put two tablespoons lamb juice, fresh lamb juice. Mm. I really love fresh lamb juice, and this is they will be so juicy. Mm. Okay, just gonna squeeze the two tablespoon fresh lamb uh, into the our blender. Okay, for two tablespoon of lamb, I use the one whole lamb, and everything go into the blender. And next, I gonna start with our uh, soybean paste. This is a so Thai soybean paste. I will use six tablespoon. Okay. One, two. <laughs> I'm so lucky. It's exactly six tablespoons for me, and they're all gone. Next time I will go to the store, I will not forget to buy more because I use a lot. Next ingredient is bao sugar. I will use two tablespoons bao sugar. One, two. Okay, next is gonna be just a uh, uh, vinegar, just a uh, white vinegar. I will put two tablespoon. One. Next, I will use a uh, back soy sauce. This is Thai uh, back soy sauce, Thai band, but you can use any band. I will use three tablespoon. This is a little bit slow because a uh, new bottle. Okay, and this back soy sauce, it already have when I'm young. I am always see when I'm a little kid this band. So that's why I use this band for forever. Three tablespoons back soy sauce uh, inside the blender. I just want to tell you a funny thing a little bit about this back soy sauce. Um, I already tell you I see this when I'm young. And the funny thing is they never, how they make the cap, they never have the lid. After the, if you open, you just have to have the hole and you just have to find the cover. They never, 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 I don't know why they always decide like this. And also sometimes they come with a, this is a beer bottle. 
as you can see, it have like Leo. They say Leo over here. It's a beer bottle. They use whatever bottle, but I'm sure they already clean or pasteurized. But they always like this forever. If you want five layer one, it have to be like this. Like I just explained. Okay. Next, the seasoning soy sauce, the Golden Mountain. I'm gonna do two tablespoon. Last ingredient is a soy sauce. The regular soy sauce, I will use two tablespoon. Oh, 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 this one they big, they let go a little slow. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's a new bottle, that's why. Okay, so two tablespoon. Okay, now we need to bend everything together. Okay, I think now it's done. Okay, everything blend it well together, mix well together. I'm gonna just go ahead and taste my sauce. Mmm. Mmm. It's supposed to be a little salty and a little sweet and a heat from the ginger. Okay, now our sauce is done. Okay, I have about two cup of the, our dipping sauce. It will be a lot, a lot enough for our Hainanese chicken. So I'm gonna just uh, put in the bowl and set it on the side. And I'm going to give you extra bonus for this Hainanese dipping sauce. Okay, um, it will be very easy. I will use four tablespoon back soy sauce again that we use for the other uh, Hainanese dipping sauce. Now we need four tablespoon for this recipe. Next, I'm going to use a thin soy sauce, or you can use the Ligula soy sauce or the Golden Mountain soy sauce. I will use five tablespoon. I use five tablespoon. Uh, I like this because they have a mushroom flavor. That's why I use the this thin soy sauce today. Okay, next I'm gonna add a, about one teaspoon the sesame oil. Okay, be careful. Okay, one teaspoon. Okay, sesame, uh, sesame oil go in and keep them to mix it a bit before I add uh, our ginger and also about one teaspoon the ginger. Okay, very fine ginger. Okay, and uh, a little bit of green onion, about two teaspoon. Okay, and mix them well. That's it, you're done. This is extra bowl nut. If you like this one more, you can double the recipe. In Thailand, when you go to the Kaman Kai restaurant, they always serve together with the main Hainanese chicken sauce and this sauce together. That's it, all we done our Thai style Hainanese dipping sauce. And don't forget the full recipe is on the spoonforkhat.com. And don't forget to watch the next video also because I'm gonna make the Thai style Hainanese chicken. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if you like this recipe, please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you.